U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, Office of Inspector General, was created by the Inspector General Act of 1978, as amended, to provide oversight of the EPA's programs and operations. The office is separately funded by Congress to ensure our independence. The EPA IG also serves as the IG for the U.S. Chemical Safety and Hazard Investigation Board, which is known as the CSB. The OIG's ultimate goal is to promote the economy, efficiency, and effectiveness of the EPA. We accomplish this goal primarily by performing audits, evaluations, and investigations to detect and prevent fraud, waste, abuse, misconduct, and mismanagement. These are challenging responsibilities given the size and scope of the EPA's mission. The OIG relies on whistleblowers to expose acts of wrongdoing by alerting the OIG. While the word whistleblower can be daunting, its meaning is simple. Being a whistleblower means doing the right thing by reporting wrongdoing. A whistleblower can be anyone with knowledge of potential wrongdoing. As executive branch employees, it is everyone's duty to disclose fraud, waste, abuse, and corruption. This obligation is such an important part of the U.S. government's accountability to the taxpayers that it was codified in Executive Order 12674 more than three decades ago. Employees of contractors and grantees and others with pertinent information to report can be whistleblowers as well. In order to be considered a whistleblower and make what is called a protected disclosure, the individual banking report must reasonably believe that the information discloses a violation of law, rule, or regulations, gross mismanagement or a gross waste of funds, abuse of authority, a substantial and specific danger to public health or safety, or censorship related to research, analysis, or technical information. EPA policy also extends whistleblower protection to EPA employees who uncover or report allegations of scientific or research misconduct or express a differing scientific opinion. In addition, the report must be lawful. A person may not disclose classified, sensitive, or controlled unclassified information to someone not authorized to receive it. There are several ways that whistleblowers might report wrongdoing related to the EPA or the CSB. First, the Office of Inspector General hotline provides a confidential and reliable way to report violations of law, rule or regulation, fraud, waste, abuse, mismanagement, serious security incidents, and other criminal or administrative misconduct that involves EPA or CSB employees, programs, and operations. The OIG also investigates allegations of whistleblower reprisal made to the hotline. The Inspector General Act states that the OIG shall not, after receipt of a complaint or information from an EPA or CSB employee, disclose the identity of an employee without the consent of the employee unless unavoidable in the course of an investigation. While EPA employees have a right to confidentiality under the Inspector General Act, complainants who are not EPA employees may specifically request confidentiality. The OIG will honor such a request to the maximum extent permitted by law. Further, a complainant may choose to remain anonymous when contacting the OIG. Contact information for the OIG hotline is available on our website at www.epa.gov forward slash OIG. Whistleblowers can file a complaint via an online form, an email, or a phone call. Another office that handles reports of wrongdoing is the Office of Special Counsel, an independent federal investigative and prosecutorial agency. The OSC's primary mission is to protect federal employees and applicants from prohibited personnel practices, especially reprisal for whistleblowing. Finally, another independent federal agency, the Merit Systems Protection Board, protects merit system principles and promotes an effective federal workforce free of prohibited personnel practices, including retaliation. Information disclosed by whistleblowers is the lifeblood of the OIG. Because of whistleblowers, we are often able to detect and bring to light contract, procurement, grant, laboratory and program fraud, cyber crimes, computer network intrusions, mismanagement and waste of funds, abuse of authority, theft and misuse of government property, conflict of interest actions, employee misconduct, and other actions that distract from the fine work of the EPA and the CSB. Whistleblowers' contributions heavily influence the OIG's decisions about starting audits, evaluations, and investigations, and shape the direction of the outcomes of our work.
It is natural for federal employees and others with knowledge of wrongdoing to fear retaliation. That's why it is imperative that would-be whistleblowers know that they will be protected. In 1989, Congress passed the Whistleblower Protection Act, which gives federal employees specific rights and protections if they blow the whistle, so to speak. The act prohibits an agency from taking, failing to take, or threatening to take, or threatening to fail to take, retaliatory personal actions against either an employee or applicant for making protected disclosures or for participating in a protected activity such as filing a complaint with the OIG or the OSC. To clarify, federal law also protects those who make hotline complaints and otherwise cooperate with the OIG, even if they do not make protected disclosures. The Whistleblower Protection Act also makes clear that agency non-disclosure policies, forms, or agreements cannot waive an employee's right to communicate disclosures of wrongdoing. Title 41, Section 4712 of the U.S. Code protects employees of contractors, subcontractors, grantees, subgrantees, and personal services contractors who make protected disclosures related to a federal grant or contract, including competition for or negotiation of a contract. These employees may not be discharged, demoted, or otherwise discriminated against in retaliation for protected disclosures they make to covered individuals. The OIG's Whistleblower Protection Coordinator is an important resource for helping potential whistleblowers understand their rights as well as how to report allegations to the OIG and other appropriate federal agencies and offices. If you have questions regarding your rights and whistleblower protections, please email the EPA OIG Whistleblower Protection Coordinator at whistleblower underscore protection at epa.gov. There is also more information on the OIG's Whistleblower Protection webpage. Whistleblowers are an invaluable resource to the OIG in ensuring that EPA programs and operations are efficient and effective and they have the right to be supported and protected. Each year since 2013, both the U.S. Senate and the U.S. House of Representatives have passed resolutions designating July 30th as National Whistleblower Appreciation Day, a time to spotlight everyday Americans who have played such a valiant role in protecting the integrity of our federal government. The OIG salutes whistleblowers each and every day. We could not do what we do without you.